podcast. I'm one of your hosts, as always, Stephen Henry. Uh, over there, we got him with his hat. Look at him, David Wayne. That's me. Big old sexy bear. Uh, <laughs> Bringing sexy bear. We got the guy with the earbuds. He's happening. It's Matt Williams. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford the over ear ones yet. The muffs. Not yet. I can't afford the muffs. You gotta grow up. <laughs> I gotta get the muffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the. I got the gaming. <laughs> the gaming headgear, but it just looks like I'm not allowed to go into the store with mom. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna call in missile commands. <laughs> yeah. You're like Charlie Delta Bravo, move forward. <laughs> red eight, red eight. I'm going down. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I just imagine <laughs> Matt, Matt's Help like that, me. like the commercials. He's just too aggressive. You know those commercials where like they're sitting on the couch and like mm-hmm. the camera like pans around them, and then all of a sudden they're in a battlefield or like in a war zone. Yeah, and it's like get in the game. It's all like serious. It's like dude, it's a fucking headset. Settle down. Like, yeah, like like I definitely look like I should be in a Mountain Dew Code Red commercial. Yeah, dude, just chugging that, ripping ripping bags of Doritos. And- you look like you look like one of those guys from like the Marines commercial where it's like the fucking fiery volcano. <laughs> Except like he doesn't pull out a sword; he's just got like a big dildo. <laughs> be an army of fun yeah. stuff, all that you can stuff <laughs> in your the butt. You. The proud my anus. <laughs> Sorry, we shouldn't we shouldn't rip on the military. That feels bad. It's ripping on Matt. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. We're ripping on Matt. <laughs> Listen, they built a foundation so that we can run with me doing butt stuff on a mountain. They, they had to kick Matt out of Pensacola because he was causing problems for the military. They yeah. <laughs> all three branches. Don't ask, don't tell, don't Matt Williams. <laughs> like that. The rule. Just looking with binoculars. Is that boy out there with the feather boa again? <laughs> he needs to get away from our base. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, got the acrylic boots yeah. with the goldfish in them. Yeah. Just tell him there's some poppers at the top of the wall. He'll get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just start climbing. You like scale it. <laughs> like you just run up it like like a spider. Yeah. He doesn't got those like fucking climbing hooks. He just uses his dick and just rams <laughs> it into the wall. I was like, oh. see, the trick is to use your legs. Everybody thinks that you climb with your arms. <laughs> legs, dick, legs, dick. Hey, he's oh, just checking his email while he's running up the wall. Exactly, just very casual about using his dick. He's in there sending texts like DMs on Grinder. Hit me up, big boy. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. like, God, dude, that's strong dick muscles. If you could, yeah. hold like a fucking up, like a dick terminator. <laughs> come with me if you want to come. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of coming if you want to come with us every week subscribe <laughs> hit that subscribe button down there and that notification bell <laughs> Thank you. Whatever yeah. you want. Make matt's sure you gonna, subscribe. yeah matt's gonna ring that bell for you just oh, yeah. that at the end of that terminator matt just sinks into the lava and then comes up just the dick <laughs> oh yes yeah, it's, it's the thumb up it's just like a head up <laughs> <laughs> everybody's crying (laughs) i'll come on your back (laughs) are you sarah connor gross (laughs) you said it was a twink (laughs) god it's like throwing me into the fires of mordor (laughs) that's the only way you can kill me in my gigantic erection. Just turns around and like starts making out with the cop. <laughs> <laughs> the T one thousand cop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like bashing my head through the Have you seen this boy? It's just a picture of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> with a big lolly. <laughs> <laughs> Propeller hat and everything. Yeah. B O I. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this fuck boy? <laughs> <Like> <laughs> Yeah, he's walking through the mall except for with a thing of roses and a shotgun. It's just full of dildos. <laughs> yeah, I mean he does look like dildos a male stripper. He does look like a male stripper in that movie though. 
Oh yeah, he's got the sure. uniform on and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna be on Skynet soon, Matt, because you're yeah. getting a vaccine, right? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm scheduled for next Wednesday to get it. That was actually pretty. They wanted me to do it through an app too, which was kind of odd. Like you what? go through the county website, and then they're like, "Oh, well, you can also go through the app to do it." Like, can I just do it here? And <clears throat> so I skipped doing the app thing, and yeah, the like. But they didn't send me any confirmation until like the next day. So I was just kind of sitting there like, is this, is this what happens? Are people going to pick me up? <laughs> <laughs> Get in the van. <laughs> yeah, they pick you up. What? <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, because they didn't tell me like where to go or what was going to happen next or even that they received the request. Um, All right, now I'm uh, getting real worried. <laughs> like you, you get your vaccine at an undisclosed black site. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude just puts a bag over your ass. <laughs> yeah, if I gotta walk to get my mail, they're gonna be like, get him. <laughs> yeah, T one thousand comes out with a hard dick and injects it into your skin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well the they they gave me the address and it's it's uh it's like twenty minutes away and it says like it's like address and it said like horse park of Ocala. So, Come alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, it's like dress casual. What? Yeah, join us at dusk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to have a ritual. You're gonna sacrifice some. Yeah, they're like <laughs> bring bring snacks. Wear wear a nice breathable cero, uh, ceremonial robe. Yeah. <laughs> Man's gonna show up with a cooler with Capri Suns and orange slices. <laughs> like a soccer game. Yeah. <laughs> They'll open the cooler and be like, man, that's good for an organ. We can put that in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Said bring snacks. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can't wait to have like telepathy or whatever after you know after it settles in. That's best case scenario. Yeah. I mean, worst case. <laughs> well, like, so of course, whenever I whenever I uh, make the appointment i find out that like last week i went over to my friend's house and he's got a daughter and the daughter's covid positive so right now <laughs> the window of that like i may actually have covid as i'm actively waiting to get the shot well the vaccine is supposed to help any i guess like um later effects that you have after getting it right it's supposed to like <laughs> well like if you have it let's say you know and then you have symptoms uh even if you've already had it, you get the vaccine. It's supposed to like help any reoccurring yeah. symptoms. I don't it's know. Supposed to decrease the severity. Is yeah. The thing. Right. And, but it's just kind of like if you already have an active infection, it's already like going. Yeah. Now you're just adding to it. <laughs> yeah. And no, I'm just like a little doubling yeah. up. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like you're getting hit with a huge dose of it, or that you're getting hit with the actual virus and it's replicating. It's hopefully this is where i'm like all right if you're already infected then you get the the vaccine what's going on are you doing are you in the two shot or the one shot yeah the two shot okay it's like i might be i might be sick and my arm's gonna hurt (laughs) (laughs) i got two owies yeah Yeah. katie just got uh she had sore arm that was it yeah yeah that's what i hear from everybody that's just the chip coming alive yeah Yeah. (laughs) just activating Yeah, it's going she live. does have a weird bump in that spot, though. <laughs> I'm dead <laughs> serious. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'll rub her arm. I'm like, what the fuck is that? She's like, that's from when I got my shot. I'm like, it's still bumping like that? She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. It's like a tuberculosis shot. So I just yell into her arm. Good job, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get mine as soon as possible. <laughs> like, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just letting them know. <laughs> the, the first one's the vaccine the second one's to update the firmware <laughs> yeah <laughs> boy i'm glad i paid my taxes this year yeah we're on that, <laughs> we're on that 2.0 now <laughs> maddie just don't throw the cat over your head we don't want an alinity uh so she always she brings me, so silent brings me caps oh yeah she likes throw. to throw them yeah so Cap, cap. More for a while then she's like i play play now no there was a streamer that got in trouble because her she was like gaming intensely <clears throat> and her cat jumped on the and she just grabbed her and like threw her over her head <laughs> and like the internet went nuts because she was streaming on twitch they're like you can't do that and it's like don't cats always land on their feet 
Yeah. <laughs> You ever see? It's probably fine, but I guess I was like, my cat jumps from the top of the refrigerator to the bottom of the kitchen floor, which is linoleum. And every time she does it, the sound hurts me. Yeah. So it's like, you just toss her. Cat's fine. Yeah. Well, see, like, I'm always like nice and ginger, gingerly. Yeah, I know. I I like, I pick up, well, it's a big, big top half, top half, and I go, and I place her down. But there's been times where I've been actually doing stuff besides this. And I'm just like, I would like you to stop doing this. That's yeah. Like, you, you, it's like we, you are here. Repeated action. I was like, you, you must know that I don't want you up here. Right. You got to get a box lid and put it over there. She'll lay in that. The, the worst thing that animals do is like they lock their feet when they don't want you to move them. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the cat when I'm trying to sweep her off the countertop sometimes to like cook and shit, she'll just like brace her haunches and just lean in, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, you know what you're doing. You're being bad. <laughs> She's got like her her back of her feet to the tip of her toes and just like hunched on the edge of the thing. I'm like, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Holding on for dear life. And yeah. Piper will do the same thing outside. Piper will like splay her arms out and then like mm-hmm. dig into the ground to keep me from moving her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what Tifa does. The the shepherd. That's what she'll do. She's like, I'm not moving right now. Yeah, it's I want to smell this. <laughs> it is awesome to move her. <laughs> she goes, my dirt patch. Go find your own. <laughs> well, I think Piper's gotten the the habit of eating ants or something because she like <laughs> what? <laughs> is the yeah the, uh, she she becomes this... very dictative. Gets very tunnely. Yeah, but... no, there's like little ant hills, and she will. That's where she usually like post up like with her paws down and her her like snout down at it and i'm pretty sure she's trying to like snuffle some ants out <laughs> and I'm like what are you doing she's like these are good for fiber well i was talking to mayor about it and she was we were saying like yeah i think she's eating the fire ants because they're the spicy ones she likes <laughs> flaming hot yeah. cheetos yeah they come <laughs> Have you seen the jalapeno ones? <laughs> it's like, I need to find some green ants. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're the verde. <laughs> yeah. I don't smell no peppers. I mean, she is a, a beagle, right? Isn't that like a hunting dog? Yeah, she's a beagle mix, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a dardvark. <laughs> Man, I was, I was at a restaurant. Like, I was in uh, Tarpon, and someone brought, like, their support dog. And it was a Greek restaurant, and the fucking waiter came over. So the amount of hair stayed the same. <laughs> God damn. That's Matt Williams, everybody. Matt hey, Williams said that. What, what was it? The... Oh, okay. I think I got it because they're Greek. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah, you're over my way, Steve. You're around Carpen Springs. Yeah, I've been going there a lot lately. But like, we were we were at this restaurant, this Greek restaurant, <clears throat> emotional support dog. And the waiter came over and his, he was like, hey, does your dog want some barklava? And I'm like, fucking stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, hear, just hear a fork drop and a head lift up. <laughs> and Steve is like, I, we got to go right now. Yeah. Matt Williams part owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some barklava. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to be like, do you seriously have that? Or are you just being cute right now? <laughs> Yeah. I don't like imagine imagine being the baker coming in at 3 a.m. every day to make tray after tray barclava. Just pound Purina into filo dough. <laughs> Just flake after flake. <laughs> yeah, that's um uh, yeah, because you wouldn't even be able to like eat it, you know. Yeah, well, it would just be a fucking mess, like especially with honey on a dog's face. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's how you get the ants to stick to it. <laughs> Turn Piper. my dog into human flypaper. Yeah, Piper. I mean, learned. dog flypaper. Yeah. <laughs> Piper learned to put honey on her face. She's like, I can catch way more. Just stick my snout in there. Catch way more flies with honey. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Or shit, oh. you can catch flies with shit too. So, and and Matt, you've been getting goddamn that cat's back. <laughs> I know. She's, she's being so mad. Okay, look, hi, kitty. Hi, mom. That's Iclon. 
That's right. Cyclone B. Cylon. <laughs> You've been getting all sorts of new technology, man. Yeah, no, like I'm getting a tan via the TV because I've, I've been on it a lot. My roommate got a PS5. Um, Wait, are you saying you're getting tan lines from the TV? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little Radio Boy 85. You know? How close are you sitting in? Is it a CRT <laughs> TV? Like your nose against the screen? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I am the game. <laughs> You got one of those big old box TVs from the yeah. fucking 80s. An no old bubble television. <laughs> radiates heat trying to go to bed, and it's like a 1,000 degrees in the bedroom. Yeah, it's not the refraction of the light that's coming out. It's the radioactive forces that are forcing the bubble of the curvature of the... Of yeah, the you room. can just hear the... Wah, wah. <laughs> Is that a didgeridoo? No, it's a TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a microwave you can watch. Like, every game is... is <laughs> Is it a nuclear nuclear fallout? It's warping the straws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ma, wow. the TV melted my plastic solo cup again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put anything metal next to the TV. <laughs> Start sparking. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a uh, there's a there's a silhouette of me behind it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> so apparently we we. There, <clears throat> one of our friends found this guy that found out how to like quote unquote hack the, the Walmart uh, website in order to get <clears throat> in order to get PS5s. Where like apparently it, like it takes a couple hours or something like that. But like every it was like thirty minutes or something like that. They they put in new PS5 orders. But mm -hmm. whenever it drops, uh, if you try to get it at that time and check it out, there's a little. Um, I guess there's like a little bit of a delay. And so they all basically just get swept out from underneath you and you don't have anything to put in your cart. But if you sit there for a while and you just sit in it with, with your cart and then the next ones come out, it's already sitting there. So then you can just check out. And I guess that's how this guy did it. And it's like the old people that used to have like speed dollars for tickets and shit. Yeah. Like radio, yeah. like radio, go, we're giving away to the 10th caller. Like they would just, they have like screeners that can like somehow remote in and know when the 10th caller is going to be or some shit. It's weird. Like those, those like eBay snipe bots. Yeah. The snipe bots. So you can get shit like before. Snipe anyone bots? Somebody snipe bot at a PS5 then? Oh, probably <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> oh, you then, don't know about those? Then they sell no. them on eBay yeah. for twice as much or whatever. And people buy them. Yeah, people just have bots that would like they would set thresholds like up or down that they were willing to spend, and then just it would just put in the bid. And if you had a fast, like it was basically like what happens with the stock market: whoever has the fastest internet connection just wins, and you get it for like nothing. Yeah, right. So we so we ended up getting a PS Five. It was it was legit. We got it, and <laughs> so now I can play everything in four K. That's amazing. You could have played in four K to begin with. The PS Four already did that if you had a pro. Uh, we didn't have a pro. Loser. <laughs> Loser. You got a fucking PS4 amateur. No, I feel like... I feel like Wait, the, you, you bought that just to play what? Fucking Fortnite again? <laughs> Fortnite. Yeah, but it looks a little bit better. Do you see how crisp and and, and, and how much the greens pop now? Yeah, well, it was... I was like, yeah, but... but what I was <laughs> Look at Tomato about, Town. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Wow, even though this looks way better, they're never going to stop being Korean. Because <laughs> <God. laughs> I'm still just <laughs> walking and getting my ass kicked on the weekends. What do you mean yeah. they're not going to be Korean? You talking about the, the players? Yeah. They're Koreans? It's, it's, a, it's a joke. The good ones. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. I haven't played it in years. Dude. Yeah, or they're never going to stop being 12. Is it cross-platform? Yeah, it's still cross-platform. So, so like, I, so if I have it on the PC, I could play with you on PS5. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to do it just so you can yell at me because I oh suck so bad. No, or vice versa. No, <laughs> Davey just incidentally screaming at you like you did Matt Carter that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> but if you play against PC people and you're on a console, like the PC people always win because yeah. like, you'll see them walking and then like if you you hit them once and they'll see like. <laughs> In like a three-story yeah three by three building build or whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then you start one. like editing out windows and shit like that and you're like ah what the fuck how you doing you're like i'm still cycling to my sniper rifle <laughs> like you're just like <laughs> yeah. leave me alone yeah and then you do it on squads and there's four of them that do that 
So it's yeah. There is a uh, that one guy that his name's like Nick Merckx or something. He's like a professional gamer, streamer, or whatever. He plays Fortnite on controller, and he's actually like insanely good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I have to give him props. I'm like, holy shit, because I can't even do what he's doing on PC, and he's on a fucking like PS4 controller. You know what I mean? Did yeah. we ever? Do we ever talk about Broly Legs, the fighter, the fighting <laughs> game guy? No. Uh-uh. So there's a guy who he he got big in like Street Fighter Third Strike, uh, Street Fighter Three Third Strike, and Street Fighter Four, and he didn't he doesn't play with a traditional controller because like his his arms are like little warp stumps, mm-hmm. like he has a birth defect. So mm-hmm. he'll put his face on the controller and then tongue his cheek to like push the buttons and and make the characters move. What does he use a mirror to watch the screen? Uh, I don't know all the mechanics, but like this dude is so good at fighting games. Really? <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy because like he's just playing with like the, he'll play with like the Xbox 360 controller, and everyone's got like their big fight stick, and he's yeah. like face rolling it and just fucking him up. <laughs> His girlfriend's there. She just has a shitty grin on her face. You should see him in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull up a video. You said he's using his tongue. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy named Handy or something. He's got no hands and no legs. He's got stubs. But he plays. He uses a pen, like, in his mouth and, like, oh, moves that, that way. Guy? I, I think he plays Call of Duty, yeah. Yeah, because I think I was watching somebody. I think yeah. Handy or Mr. Mm. Handy or some shit like that. Yeah. I, I was. There's insanity like that. And then you have the guy that, like, he was streaming a lot and he was in a wheelchair, but, like, he was faking it. And then he forgot to turn his webcam off and stood up. And everyone's like, what the fuck? And then, like, his girlfriend was playing with him at the time. And yeah. she's like, she, they're on, like, Discord on, like, a chat. So then she just starts to, like, change the story all of a sudden. Like, oh, uh, yeah, we got a new dog and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, everyone's, like, in the chat, like, what the fuck? He can walk. And so they had to run over and, like, push down the webcam. And <laughs> oh, shit. it's insanity, dude. And he got, like, in a lot of trouble for that. Because he gets donations, like people are yeah. giving him money, like yeah, under of false pretenses. Yeah, you're like, oh, what a what a brave guy getting through it. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. There's something I was listening to, some podcast where they were talking about some comic who did that for like years, pretended to be in a wheelchair, really, and what? raised a bunch of money, and then like at one of the charity events, just like got out of the wheelchair, stood up, and just did. Set. <laughs> Shut up! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Like what he forgot, or he, it was just like it's time to come clean and do a set. It was just like the longest bit ever. <laughs> Play, yeah, yeah, like in Dumb and Dumber Two, or whatever. He's been pretends <laughs> to be catatonic or whatever. Is that it? I don't know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, so. You've been doing this bit for twenty years as a goof. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I just saw it in the trailer and I was like, uh, I can't do it. I don't want to ruin the original for me. Yeah. Those, 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 holy shit. So this is the dude right here. His name's yeah. Broly Legs? Yeah. So <laughs> let me start it. He's got fingers. I guess he can't use them. Oh, he is using them. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. He's going bananas hard on that controller. Yeah, and so if, if the, anyone listening, he looks like he's gnawing on a fucking bone or something. Well, he, looks he, like he really a, is just poking his tongue into his cheek to move the controller. Yeah. Oh, the joystick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he looks kind of like a third of Davy just squished together. Come on. With no beard. <laughs> so. If you, if you can't. Wow, this is the longest title card. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit! Mentally handicapped versus physically handicapped. Well, genetic. <clears throat> Let me be clear: we didn't make this video. Yeah, this is not ours. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> we didn't make. It this. says self-inflicted. What does that mean? <laughs> drugs. It's got to be drugs. Or it just says self-inflicted woman, mentally handicapped. <laughs> it was a woman's fault. Okay. Yeah. For oh my god. Got a face. 
This Krang mother. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lewis <laughs> God called him Krang. Oh, my God. Oh. Who, who made this? Oh. God. Well, by the way, notice low tier god is in front of a confederate flag. <laughs> Where? Oh, up top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's on the top of a salt shaker. He's salty. Oh, is this his stream? This is his own stream. Oh, no. And so this must be a video he made. Okay. Yeah. This is him streaming. Oh. What are they playing? Okay, Street so, Fighter? Okay, so Street he Fighter on the yeah, he's he's Chun Li on the left, and actually yeah. I played Mortal Kombat on the PS5. That shit was hard. <laughs> I was like, there's so many more since Super Nintendo. Yeah, I used to play on like Genesis. You had three buttons. So, so just note that this dude is doing this shit with his face. Like, yeah. that's <laughs> bananas, just, dude. He just wrecked that dude like a third of his life doing combos with his fucking face. What? Okay, yeah. And this other dude is trying his absolute best with a fight stick. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting fucked up. Wait, what's a fight stick? Like one of those yeah. big arcade sticks? Yeah, it looks uh, like an yeah, arcade joystick, so that way you can... Because this okay, is where, so like, like, fighting games used to be played was, like, in arcade. Yeah, like the arcade style where you're like... Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Okay, buttons. yeah. Yeah, yeah so like high th- punch, low punch. They whatever. had that for Nintendo, I remember, too. Yeah. That's what I thought too. I was like, "What? It's been around that." I was like, Come okay, I "Technology's the advanced. NES advantage." Yeah, <laughs> NES advantage. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the the joystick one was the oh, NES I didn't advantage. Know that, yeah, oh. yeah, uh, Kung <laughs> Kung Fu. That was just dude. That's how you know Nintendo games are old. They're just named after like the act of what they're doing. <laughs> it's called Kung Fu. There's ice hockey. There's basketball, <laughs> golf. Like they're just named after the sport. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I got some news stories. Yeah, jump into the next. <laughs> All right. Baby in Iraq, first human documented with three penises. Having two penises known as diphalia occurs in one out of every five to six million births, but this is the first recorded case of triphalia. So he's Jewish he's too? Yes. <laughs> no, he's, he's from Iraq, so he's probably a uh, Muslim. Oh. Oh, it's just the Jerusalem post, so. Yeah. Where's so he got, got, got it. Yeah, exactly. Worship this baby. Yeah, he's got the trinity betwixt his thighs. <laughs> so it's like Dal Seam from Street Fighter. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Isn't that his name? <laughs> he's got Cerberus cock. <laughs> Yoga flame. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> What's the name of that three-headed dragon in uh, Godzilla? Oh, are you talking about Hydras? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, except that if you had a real hydra, like if, you, if they cut one away, two more would grow in its place. <laughs> this kid's all dicks at this point. We just keep cutting. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's the anemone of penises. They're so, like starfish. If you cut one off, the, it grows back. So those depleted uranium rounds are doing wonders over there, <laughs> making these kids be born Sound, with three penises. Sounds like it. <laughs> How does that work? Is it just three growing out of like your body, or is it like one and then like two of them growing out of that, like a, like a tree branch? I assume it's three coming off a base, a common base, <laughs> like a lazy Susan. Is of it dick? just three heads? Yeah. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> is, is it all shafts? <clears throat> is it like a rake Damn where right. it's just got three, <laughs> three heads off one base, or is it like three bases? You know what yeah. I mean, like a. He's yeah. got a pitchfork a dick. Yeah. Is it coming out like french fries? <laughs> like a trident. Yeah, like french fries. Yeah, is it a trident or is it like <laughs> three separate french fries? You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to. My main question is when he grows up, is he not going to have a refractory period because each penis will have its own? Matt? That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's a refractory period? Like how you can't come after you came? Like you have that, that 15 minutes to calm down? Oh, he can just go in there. Like just, reset. Just yeah. put the other one in. Just go to the next chamber. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and can all three get hard at the same time, or does it have to like divert? Yeah, because the blood. Yeah, do you have to put like a diverter valve in there and like hit a switch? <laughs> yeah, like it's kind of like a foam finger where you have to hold like two back <laughs> to make it flick somebody off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like giant Mickey hands, but it's three fingers. Maybe that uh, we're like, <laughs> just like, give something. Oh, God. 
Despite this, only one could be called the true penis. <laughs> since the others do not possess urethra and cannot function uh, normally. Why don't they just cut them off? I'm sure they do. Wait, so if you're born with two, do they just cut one off? I imagine. They're like, this kid. This kid's parents was a dick. Cut the bigger one off. <laughs> it's like, leave the smaller one on there or something. <laughs> They they keep them uh they keep them on ice for like the next Bobbit case that comes in. They're like, well, we yeah. have a replacement dick, but bad news is from a baby. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were removed, yeah. So he had his two bonus penises removed. <laughs> yeah. Just- Oh my god. Child wasn't exposed to any sort of drugs while in the womb. Radiation. And there isn't Mm -hmm. any history of genetic aberrations. Is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah. So there isn't a history of of normal stuff. Like (laughs) just like, hey, remember uh two dick Don two dick Johnny? Oh yeah. (laughs) That guy, uh the guy from uh fucking Firefly, Alan Tudick, he's named for this. (laughs) Yeah. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's starting Resident <laughs> Alien. I wonder. I wonder if like back in the because he's got two dicks. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if back in the day, like if you were born with that, you just become king automatically. <laughs> They're like, well, he's got two. You know, you just kind of have to listen to him. Alpha moves. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely like a sword in a stone. <laughs> Diphalia. Sixteen oh nine. Sorry, it wasn't that long ago. You imagine if they didn't remove like the the useless fucking dicks and you just had to like flap them around while you're fucking. <laughs> Get out but of here, little penis! You just you're mushing your soft dead penis against someone that you're fucking with the real one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds not good. That's yeah. That's uh. Ooh. So that's a hell of a French tickler. Yeah. Like, one dildo, one fool noodle. It's like, or like she feels it. She's like, is somebody else here? It feels like somebody else is here. Yeah. It's dark in here. Is that your roommate? Is that a finger? She's like, are you half gay? <laughs> well, dude, if he had, if he kept all three, he could do two in the pink, one in the stink. But they don't work. You just have to mush them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, see, like you could probably like wrap one around the other or like maybe... Like have have one and have like another one that's squished together, or just like <laughs> fold it in half. <laughs> yeah, or you could put you could fold them all three together to make like the super stomp. Yeah, It'd be like you getting fucked like... by one of those inflatable <laughs> tube guys. <Yeah. laughs> just, it's all air, just smashing. It's all air. Yeah. Do you think if you kept them, they'd all grow at the same rate? Or like you just have like one giant one and two mini dicks next to it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would get split equally amongst the three. He's like, yeah, like how the lag might don't grow at the same rate. Yeah, it's kind of like a menorah, you know, like the, the... <laughs> <It's> eight. <laughs> oh, menorah! I was thinking of a uh... wait. That is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, the... you're right. Okay, all right. Yeah, trinora. I guess. Yeah, it's a trinora. <laughs> oh man, triceratops. Th- this oh. one was too good not to. No way. Florida golfer drowns while searching pond for his golf ball. This isn't real, is it? No. Yes. Glo- I, I like it's under global news. Yeah, we're of course in Florida. Like, it's in uh, Oldsmar too. Like, That's like right near us. Oh, is it? I'm saying he was probably old. Oh, geez. Where does it say Oldsmar? Oh right yeah, down, Oldsmar. Yeah, seventy-four year old man. He Fell does not know pond. how to swim. Fell. Oh. Okay. 74 year old man fell into a pond and drowned while trying to get his golf ball and trying to find his golf ball at a country club in Florida on Sunday, said local police. Um, the victim, Ermillo Jasmines, teed off at the third hole. Oh man, he wasn't even that deep in the fucking round. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, dude. Just get dude. another ball, motherfucker. <laughs> I know. Well, it was a I, title I, list. <laughs> yeah, it's a Pro V1. I got to get it. It was like eight bucks a piece. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're like, golf balls now are becoming like bullets. Like, you have to be use them sparingly. You they're know? just as deadly. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got my assault wedge. <laughs> His putter was found on the ground near the water. He putted <laughs> it into the water? 
<laughs> you deserve to probably, lose that ball, dude. <laughs> he was probably trying to scoop it with the putter. and was just like, fuck this and jumped in the lake. Or he fell in and doesn't know how to swim. That's only, yeah. Yeah, but how deep is the water? Like, why would it I mean, be ponds, like ponds can be pretty deep. Yeah, but how, like, he would have to have just, like, walked into it. And, like, what did he do? No, like, he was probably diving, people? diving down and didn't no. realize he was, couldn't. It was know. probably the only way I can get down deep enough to get this ball is I'm going to load my pockets with rocks <laughs> and walk into the pond. Yeah, I'll have oh, to like an old school diver. Couple. The Virginia Wolf method. <laughs> I need three stop men to man the bellows. <laughs> what the fuck? His golf cart was parked on the cart path and his putter was found lying on the ground near the water. That sounds like a cartoon. Like... <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ultimately found his body submerged in the water near his putter. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Maybe he had a heart attack or something. I don't know. The victim's, just, friends... The victim's... <laughs> Go ahead, the victim's friends told deputies that he liked to search the golf course for lost balls. Something treated as suspicious. So, like, treated as suspicious but stupid? Like, it's... again, like, drowning is, like, for... I children yeah, yeah it's weird like, like for, for kids in a bucket yeah i can i can kind of get that but like you're he's 74 so my i guess he was my something he's looking for and maybe had a heart attack or something not a heart attack but like maybe he got strained and couldn't make it back to the surface and just yeah but like I, I, again like he would have to go so far into that water what if it was just deceptively like, deep at that point matt I, yeah. I, maybe but even <laughs> like if it just fell off completely from the shore <laughs> yeah is it that is it that just one? Like one step in just whoop <laughs> yeah it's a drop off yeah, yeah. is it that one hole like at the at that 18 where it's just like an island and then just a moat yeah that's a uh, it's all grass a 17 hole it's not like it's a mini golf course it's not like you got brained by a windmill or something <laughs> yeah or like a fucking clown <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna die clown yeah that's so fucking it is awesome. it it does definitely sound very florida though it it i for sure think he had like a heart attack or something and fell in and just that was it well no he could have been searching uh, his friends says he likes to search for balls because you can find them and then if you get good ones you can sell them back to the clubhouse it's so weird to be selling. like yeah <laughs> It's so weird to like searching for lost golf balls, like, is your thing. I could see that. It's like painting for gold, but, like, except there's a lot of balls in there, and the gold is a titleist. Yeah. <laughs> Pro V1. My, my dad and I actually used to uh, look for, we used to find lost baseballs at the, uh, that's how we got, like, all of our balls for batting practice is that we could go uh, into the woods and just yeah, at this them. park and like yeah, and some of these kids that would come out and just like crank homers. When I worked at True Green, I used to play golf all the time, and uh, uh some of my houses were on golf courses, and yeah. they were like, yeah, if you find we find golf balls all the time, I have a shit ton if you need them. I'm like, what? So I would just like go through them and pick out the good ones. Nice, because people like hook them into their yards and shit. Yeah, I'm like just like pick, suck. Pick them up like ah, uh, title is point eight. This is a double, and just chuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already got one of these. Yeah, it's like collecting the 50 state things. The quarters. Yeah. You just got to pull one a, out of a whale. I need a Nike. I need a <laughs> Slazenger. I need a Puma. The sea was angry that day, my friend. And yeah. at that moment, I was a marine biologist. <laughs> Easy, big he fella. Said there was an obstruction. <laughs> He's like, and it was this. And he pulls out a golf ball. And Kramer just looks around like, hey, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I know it's such a good. Do you trip. really want to have fun, or are you just saying you want to have fun? <laughs> I'm just saying I want to have fun. What else you got, Stevie? Oh no! <laughs> oh, team right. dresses Spider-Man reportedly lures beats up pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a rod? You just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, a t- <laughs> Jesus, Matt. <laughs> A teenage boy posing as a girl in Brazil reportedly lured a suspected pedophile to a park using Tinder and beat him up. <laughs> I just got that. I just got that. Yeah, yeah, man. He printed out the Tinder conversation and then stuck it on a hook and casted <laughs> it out into a park. Dressed as Spider-Man. <laughs> he, had a, he had a picture of Bad Baby on a reel. 
yeah. <laughs> just, just pull him in 18. She just got an OnlyFans, dude. Yeah, made a million dollars in like three days. It's bananas. It's like, <laughs> she's not even, I don't know. Apparently she makes good music. I've never heard her songs, but I can't imagine they're any good. <laughs> the people are like, hey, how dare you? <laughs> that, is, that is like peak creep that like so many people are just like, the second she got it, it's like, onward to battle men. And then it just over the hills yeah. to buy her only Reddit fans. probably was going nuts, all the incels. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bought a crate of lube just for today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Amazon, you said two days. God damn it. <laughs> it just didn't show up on time. You're going in dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was in Brazil. Yeah. A teenager in, I'm not going to try and say it, Wokaba. I don't know. Brazil is said to have lured and beaten up a suspected pedophile while dressed as Marvel Comics Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Reports police arrested a fi- the fifteen they arrested the fifteen year old boy yeah. who pretended to be a fourteen year old girl on Tinder after beating the man whose age was not disclosed up in a park at night. The spe- suspected pedophile was taken to the hospital and later to, to the police to give a statement. So wait, this boy beat up a possible pedophile and like, all right, we gotta take this kid down. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, <laughs> well, he posed as a fourteen year old girl, so obviously the guy that met him there knew like he thought he was meeting a young girl so yeah i I know i always love that like the fucking chris hansen ones they show up they're like oh well we were just gonna hang out and talk and it's like what you're fucking like 45 like like, you brought condoms wine coolers and cookies for some reason (laughs) what do you mean you're just gonna talk like a lot of sugar no no right (laughs) what's wrong with you you're diabetic you're 45 dude he just like lifts his shirt. He's like, nah, man, I got the pump. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> just crank this up a couple There was notches. the one guy that just got naked and just sitting at the kitchen counter naked the whole time. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, and then Chris just... Hansen walks in. He's like, what's up? He's like, hey. Like, it's what? Hey. I don't. It's. Uh... He's like, I'm just being stupid. That's <laughs> it. But... I'm yeah. white trash and I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, this. <laughs> There's going to be, like, all sorts of fucking pedophiles trying to avoid entrapment by, like, messaging, like, are you going to dress up like Spider-Man and beat me up in the park? You got to tell me if you're going to. <laughs> yeah, by law. <laughs> by, law. <laughs> by law, you have to tell me if you're Peter Parker. Yeah. If, if you're a pedophile <laughs> Spider-Man beater up, or you have to let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to disclose if you work at the Daily Bugle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to... I didn't want the teenage girl. I just want pictures of Spider Man. Just throws a cigar. J.K. Simmons. <laughs> what? I don't think it actually come. I just want the pictures. I can't do them, but yeah. <laughs> they kept sending me nudes of themselves. I was like, "Give me the Spider Man." Yeah. Stop. I need pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. I want no fourteen-year-old boys. <laughs> just like going nuts. I'm not a sicko. I just want the pedo fighting Spider Man. God damn, look how he slings those webs. <laughs> almost, almost sensual. Oh, dude, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be so funny if, like, in the, in the photos, like on the Tinder, there's like a dude in Spider Man in the background. <laughs> just, just a Spider Man, like, fucking. With, with his ass and then just looking over his shoulder like the fucking copper tone kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man over here packed two pocket knives and two retractable tonfa- tonfas. Those are like batons. Okay. For, for anyone who doesn't know. Bladed. Along with a bladed brass knuckle. <laughs> Wild. He handed a flash drive to the police containing chat logs with the pedophile. Where the fuck did the 15-year-old get that shit from? I guess they are in Brazil. Yeah, I was like, you can get a flash. I was like, you can get a flash drive. No, not a flash drive. The <laughs> weapons. <laughs> you can get a flash. Hey, just go to Walmart in Brazil and get a flash drive. <laughs> they have those there, Davey. It's just crazy that this kid is willing to do this in the time of COVID. Like he's risking right he's now. He's wearing a mask. He's got on a, <laughs> got a Spider-Man mask on. You know, he's yeah. got to get it within six feet to punch this dude. <laughs> he's actually protecting the pedophile from him. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna wear two Spider Man masks. He's wearing like a body condom. (laughs) One's the regular Spider Man and one's the black symbiote suit. 
<laughs> oh shit. And then I can ruin my girlfriend's jazz club. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But that at the end of this on a comic book website, they need to explain who Spider Man is. Oh, okay, by Stan Lee, yeah. Dude, from 1962. All right. The Did you guys know Spider-Man. comic nerds? <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Yeah. Yeah, I just hope there's some listening and they just start arguing. It wasn't 62, it was the summer of 61. They didn't actually. release it. Yeah. They didn't release that full comic book till 62. But actually they came up with the idea in 61. <laughs> I hope that becomes a trivia thing. And he's like, How did you how did you know that that was? Well, I read on the internet that a man dressed as Spider-Man beat up with a suspected... Yeah, that's how I retained when Spider-Man was created. I don't think I can forget that it was in 1962. Amazing stories. And this is an old-ass article. Well, this one? 2014. Yeah, six years old. (laughs) Oh, look at that. Happy birthday. (laughs) No, I just saw this and I liked it too much. Man sent back to prison for getting a job that started too early in the morning. What? (laughs) What? Parole officer told Ashley Stansfield that he could take the job, but from supervising his license, then, uh, but firm supervising his license then told him that he had breached the license. So the prisoner was released on license, is spending Christmas back in jail after he was punished for taking a job which started at 6 15 in the morning, 45 minutes before his nighttime curfew expired. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, fuck this one. Yeah, I'm just confused. Like, so they let him go. It's in England. So, so okay, so I guess he can't be out from this time to this time. But since he started a job, like he goes from like let's say ten to seven, he had a job that started at six fifteen, and they're like, no. Oh, well, here we go. This one's you're gonna uh, do some hard time for waking up too early. <laughs> this one's up our alley. No, men hired for sexual fans- fantasy break into wrong house. So was it like a rape fantasy? No way, like a. Consens- yes. non-consensual thing yeah and a sex fantasy gone wrong two men with machetes entered the wrong house in new south wales australia <laughs> before realizing their error well at least they realized it <laughs> yeah when the guy pulled out a gun and started shooting I'm like wait a minute this was your fantasy yeah i wanted to kill intruders so <laughs> <laughs> and nothing gets me harder than killing people that i hired to break into my house yeah the people he broke in he's like well i have a fantasy about killing real people yeah I'm going to need a cigarette after this double homicide. <laughs> Only one of them got acquitted? Oh, wow. The, the other stupid. one, I guess, did not have as good a lawyer. Oh, that's brutal, wow. dude. Like, someone has to go down for this. And they're like, sorry, Tommy. <laughs> They've been hired to carry out a client's fantasy of being tied up in his underwear and stroked with a broom. <laughs> what? What do you mean the... stroked with a broom? What does that mean? Beat? It's got to be me. It's got to be beat. Or does that mean, like, shoved up the old... Uh... No, I think they mean gently stroke with it, like they're doing curling with him. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to be gently, though, because if you do it like they do on the, the, the fucking curling, your face will get disfigured. No. They're like, Who, who's the sexy stone, eh? eh? Who's the sexy stone? <laughs> it's like, whoosh, whoosh, on his face. Ah! She's like ripping all the skin off and shit. We got to slow down this puck, or whatever the fuck it's called. It's like, was that a push broom? I said, <laughs> this is all regular. The judge concluded that the facts of the case were unusual. The role play was arranged over Facebook by a man near Griffith, South Wales, New South Wales, who had provided his address to the hired bear. He was willing to pay $5,000 if it was really good, the judge said. Wait, this is in Wales. This is where that guy, uh, like, slut shame the Kardashian high school. Yeah. Well, no, no, that was, that was in England, Wales. This is Australia, Wales. Oh, okay. Too many whales, then. Well, it's what happens when they send their prisoners there. Oh, they um, just, like, rename it? Yeah, they're like, yeah. They're like, we love the country that fucked us so hard that we're going to name everything after it. And that's kind of what we did in America. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. We got it's like in George mm-hmm. County. We hated that motherfucker. Let's name a county after him in Virginia. <laughs> Princess saying that bitch. Let's name some roads after <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we fled on boats to get away from these fuckers, and let's keep bringing it with us. Um, however, the client moved to another address 30 miles away without updating the two men. <laughs> then they, they then entered a home on the street of the original address. Oh, so, this I mean, is a this real... Kinda, I'm sorry. Th- this, I don't know. 
It's a real I would, tape uh, moment. I would, yeah, I'd have to get the fucking client. Like he he has to be responsible for this a little bit, right? How do you forget that you scheduled that? Yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> it's not like you know, um, uh, I don't know, like brushing her teeth or something. Like, hey Siri, <laughs> remind me to brush my teeth tomorrow. I'm pretty sure you've been looking forward to this for like three months or however long you fucking scheduled it. Yeah, hey Google, schedule my rape fantasy. <laughs> How far out? How far out do you plan your broom stroking? <laughs> Maybe he wanted to plan it so far he forgot, <laughs> so you'd be surprised. Yeah, least, make it real. Yeah, I mean, I've been excited about stuff and forgot about it if it's more than two weeks later. I I don't think I would forget that I scheduled a home invasion <laughs> on myself. <laughs> And get you tied up and have your face stroked by a broom. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, but maybe that's part of it. Is that like he he didn't want to remember, and that it was going to be a surprise. <laughs> you know, to make it quote really good. He was just like, "You pick the day." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whatever's best for you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I moved. So you said it's like a Sharon Tate thing. Yeah, it's like Sharon Tate because that's exactly what happened. They were supposed to go kill a Beach Boy. And they broke into the wrong house. Yeah, because Charles Manson had a vendetta against Brian Wilson, and he used to live in a house that Roman but Polanski it was Roman Polanski, yeah. So instead of going after a guy from the Beach Boys, he went after the house of a uh, fucking noted pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hollywood. And still killed the wrong person. <laughs> who, who, yeah, who now cannot come back to America. <laughs> he still killed the wrong person. Jesus, man. So get your shit together. For as much charisma, you're horrible at planning. <laughs> That really fucked with me in one uh, once upon a time in Hollywood when like that didn't happen. Yeah, because I was like, no Roman Polanski. Yeah, I was like, they really took some creative liberties towards the end of this film. <laughs> oh, they do, oh they don't even do it in the movie. It goes very different. Yeah. Oh, I have to well, watch it. It. Ends, it ends in a very Tarantino fashion, but not the way. I don't know. You you kind of want it to go. <laughs> yeah. But I, I won't get too far into it, but when the person gets like fucking brained with the uh the can of dog food, that's the best. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> get fucked up with a can of dog food. <laughs> Holy um, shit. I mean, that, yeah, yeah. When the resident noticed a light on in his kitchen at 6 15, he assumed it was a friend who came by daily to make morning coffee. When the men called out the name of their client, the resident turned on the light and removed a sleep apnea mask he was wearing. <laughs> It was broken to Bane's house. <laughs> He's like, oh, you may have come in the dock, but I was making coffee in it. <laughs> you you, you came was... in the dock roast. <laughs> yeah, but I came in the dock roast. <laughs> oh, no, Bane. It was then that he saw them standing above his bed with the machetes. Which they have appeared to have brought as props for the role play. Were they real machetes or like fake ones? Sounds when like they it. realized their error, one of the pairs said, Sorry, mate, and shook the resident's <laughs> hand according to real clear reports. Dude, that's a hell of a wake up call. You're Sorry. like, You know, my alarm's not cutting it anymore. I need Brad and Tom to come through with fucking yeah. machetes <laughs> to make sure I get out of my bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will get you up faster, okay? Fuck Folgers. Don't listen to Maxwell House. I thought Sanko was good for my morning shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, no problem. Happens all the time. He shook my hand, and then we changed my sheets together. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a Wednesday if there wasn't an accidental home invasion where you're going to, like, stroke me with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> you know how all home invasions go, especially in Wales. <laughs> I guess that's an Australian thing. The two men then drove to the correct address where the client noticed one man had a great big knife in his trousers and asked him to leave the weapons in their car. Man, that's a service. Like <laughs> The client that cooked bacon, <laughs> eggs, and noodles. They had breakfast together. What the fuck? I like that the guy who wanted the home invasion with the broom stroking was like, hey, leave the knives in the car. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, too real, too real. I, I, I want to dictate the terms of my home invasion. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's if you want it to be really good, like was it five up to five grand? Yeah, if it was really good. Yeah, you need the machetes. Yeah. Like, how are you? How are you going to bust if you don't have a machete on your throat? <laughs> 
It was a commercial agreement to tie up and stroke a semi-naked man in his underpants with a broom. Entry was not with intent to intimidate. <laughs> Just a rouse. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking and entering with the intent to arouse. <laughs> Criminal arousal. <laughs> Criminal arousal. Oh my. This, this erection was felonious. Yeah. <laughs> find some of these crimes to be especially heinous <laughs> in new york city these detectives have made up an elite squad known as the special victim unit. instead these of the dun dun instead of the dun dun yeah the sweet <laughs> yeah sweep under the broom <laughs> oh, for, for a second i thought new south wales was in australia <laughs> i was gonna say wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the since they're in Australia, they have to sweep backwards there. So the broom's <laughs> going the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> they have to sweep upside down or whatever. Yeah. They go right to left instead of left to right. So. Oh, man. Okay, so what was that Delta Ape thing you were talking about? Not Steve? Delta Ape. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> That's what I heard you say. I heard Delta, Delta Ape. Ape. No, so they got... They got this this new this new type of weed nowadays, and it's crazy. It's called Delta Eight THC. Oh, Delta Eight. Okay. Delta Eight. Yeah, because traditional marijuana is Delta Nine, mm. and now they got this Delta Eight shit. And it's weird because like you'll go to the, like Kava Kratom places, and they just have it because it's legal in like forty two states. Oh, until the wait catch is Delta. Is that just like a strain? No. So. Traditional marijuana is nine uh, molecules of oh. the delta tetrahydrocannabinol or whatever. Got you. And this is eight, so it's technically an analog and not identical, but it's so different no, enough that it's legal. There's no THC in it, or is like trace. There's amount? THC in it, but it's eight molecules it's, instead of yeah. nine. It's one less. Oh. Yeah, one less THC. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> exactly so it's like that. so it's like the margarine of fucking. It's like reverse spinal tap. It's one yeah. less, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like There's margarine, because like margarine's one molecule away from being plastic. What? what? Yeah. No way. Margarine, not butter. Like butter. That's why it tastes like that. Yeah, butter's better for you. But like margarine, people are like, oh, it's healthier. It's really not. It's like almost plastic. You could leave it out on your counter, ants, food, or like ants, cockroaches, nobody will touch it. Huh. They that. can believe it's not butter. Yeah, that's why I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, I can. It's almost fucking plastic. That's why. So this is like that, but instead of marijuana, it's or instead of delta nine, it's delta eight. Wow, there's I bet there's just scientists. Don't they sell packs and like cigarettes? Because uh, yeah. I saw a comic smoking those. I'm like, what the hell is that? And he goes, it's like THC cigarettes or something. I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, so weed? He was like, joint? well, technically, no, they sell them at Kava joints. And I'm like, yeah, but they also sell fucking liquid heroin at Kava joints, too. Yeah. Oh. And I take well, Adderall, which is fucking pill heroin. So I'm like, it's, there's all these technicalities in there, you know? That's yeah. what's funny about the fucking Kava places because they had the big signs up front, like, this is a sober living community. I'm like, honestly, honestly, you believe that? <laughs> this, is it? Is it really? It's like, okay, do you leave? feeling differently than when you came like even even when you go to the movie theaters you don't spend eight bucks on a 12 ounce cup of, of soda like they're <laughs> not <laughs> but these combo places are like yeah if you want the, the kratom it's eight dollars for a cup <laughs> i'm like yeah that's what i would pay for a soda that's why i pay for an arizona iced tea yeah eight dollars it's wow. doing something there's yeah. no <laughs> we're gonna keep yeah. the lights on stevie jesus <laughs> These mom and pop prices. Yeah, you think the light is usually just like some outdoor gazebo shit. <laughs> mom, it's, mom and popia. Oh my god! I'm, just hang I up Christmas have, lights. I want to have a, a I want to have a kratom stand and just like post up next to the lemonade. Just just dunk on those little girls all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like listen, your daddy's gonna appreciate. It. There's way more than that crystal light shit you're repackaging. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna make you bearable, kids. <laughs> not even real lemonade. You got fucking Kool Aid packets. Dad to sleep on the couch again. <laughs> do you want yeah. lemonade or do you want to be real cool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want Kool Aid lemonade or do you want to be like the Kool Aid man and just run through walls? 
Remember what the caterpillar smoked in Alice in Wonderland? That's in this cup. <laughs> yeah. Sitting there blowing fucking smoke rings or whatever. Yeah. Smoking opium. <laughs> out of a hookah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why it's legal. Yeah. But it's just it's weird because they'll just have the giant jars of Delta Eight Bud behind the counter, and I'm like, what? We know what we're doing at this point, right? Like, yeah. no, it's healthy. Like, the, every place has become fucking Amsterdam by now, and I feel weird saying that, but it's getting crazy. Yeah. Well, just wait until the small towns find it. Oh like, yeah. Right now, so like, if yeah. I, yeah, it's like the 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 Delta Eight spice where they start mixing shit in it they're like well <laughs> this is also with the some synthetic adderall in it so it'll wake you up but you'll feel really good yeah just someone out in like fucking texahoma texas just like oh shit this stuff's good like, <laughs> makes me feel all funny better joe yeah it's like listen man have like six beers and have a cup of this kratom built bullshit it tastes yeah. like mine, but man you're gonna be fucking cloud nine you're like you're my face hurt. is fucking numb <laughs> yeah. let's go set up my shooting cans <laughs> bang 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 <laughs> shooting like fucking cool lights and shit just fucking half asleep in square dance hall yeah <laughs> everybody like fucking keeled over at billy bob's bar and grill or whatever. <laughs> biggest dance floor in texas i tell you what a pile of bodies that fell off a mechanical bowl <laughs> yeah it's all like you ever rode the bull? You ever rode the bull on Kratom? And there's, like, there's a guy who's just like laying in the pads. Yeah, like, you can't shake him off. They're like, dude's dead. <laughs> somebody, somebody tied another person that OD'd again to the goddamn bull. <laughs> it's just like a like an inflatable arm tube man, just like riding on top. Oh. Just, just people falling into piles of peanut shells on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, you always know what is happening. Because the thud's always followed with a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. If you get enough of them, it embraces the impact of the fall. <laughs> it's shell distribution. It just... Yeah, the weight doesn't hit as hard. It just, it's like laying on a bed of nails. You know, your your weight is distributed across the peanut shell. That's right. Evenly, it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> oh my god! It's just like it's like uh, Texas yoga. <laughs> Texas yoga. Yeah, what, it's not a goat yoga. It's like pistachio yoga, or they just like or not just peanut yoga, or they just like lay on peanut shells. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to get as flexible as Mr. Planner over there. I want to sign up for Texas yoga, but I'm goddamn kids allergic to peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, are you doing that peanut yoga again? Can't bring my yoga mat anymore within like 100 feet of the house or it just gets hives. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you got to go do it with an EpiPen. <laughs> yeah. I'm just addicted to it, you know? <laughs> Downward anaphylactic shock. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the peanut yoga. They have the best peanut essential oils. <laughs> Gotta realign my allergens. We call this one happy brittle. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one is called morning hay fever. <laughs> do you do you do uh do you do hot yoga? No, I do either cr uh, crunchy or uh, <laughs> Creamy yoga. Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the, the deep south does the bo bo boiled peanut yoga. Yeah, boiled peanut yoga. They're softer. You go to any roadhouse and you just <laughs> unroll your mat. Oh my God. Imagine a guy just walking in, just like scooping him in. He's like, yeah, dude, I got a business to run. <laughs> you mind if I get your excess shells? <laughs> Guys, like, I'll help out. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> what you got pl for plugs? Oh. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo. Um, so I have a month to write a final paper for ethics. Yeah, if I turn bitch. It by, <laughs> if I turn it in by the 18th. You're writing like, for it. ethics? <laughs> ethics, yeah. Oh, you said ethics. That's right. Sorry. I really thought you said epics. I'm like, fuck, wait a minute, man. You got a paper? Are you writing a TV show? <laughs> what, a you writing? 
This weekend, I'm going to be at Snappers, 9th and 10th, with uh, James Yon. Hell yeah. And then April 25th, the Roast Battle League at the Vortex in St. Pete. Barry. Barry, those motherfuckers. Barry Hugh Carey. Barry Hugh Carey. I know. I gotta start <laughs> writing for that shit. I'll get it. The safety pen. Yeah, the Cleveland Rocks. That's who you're against, right? Yeah, first round. Yeah. And I go against the winner if I win. Uh, when Bobby, you win, Bobby Katie or Chris Coon. When you win, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I got faith in the waivers. Um, April tenth, I'll be in Pensacola at Odd Colony Brewing with Matt Ooh. Carter. Oh. Um, April seventeenth, I'll be co-featuring at Beef O'Brady's in Parish, four p.m. and seven p.m. Parish. Nice. And April twenty third and twenty fourth, I'll be hosting at Snappers. Hell yeah. Nice. But but the big one is April 29th through May 2nd, I'll be ho- – well, most of those, I'll be hosting for Rich Voss at Side Splitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The and, Voss. and that May 2nd show will be with Chrissy Mayer. Nice. Oh, yeah, Compound Media. Mm-hmm. I feel like we should be on that platform. Like, we're all – I don't know. We're not as racist, I guess, but we're close. <laughs> I'll do it. I don't give a shit. I'll yeah, just- right. So tell me I can't be racist. <laughs> I'll sell out so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we could just be like, like Gas Digital has Legion of Skanks. We'll be like Compound Media's Legion of Stanks. Well, it's like, <laughs> it's like we got stinky. that, like we got that comment on our our uh, page, like on the Proud Boys video, where the guys like, yeah, you only got three hundred video uh, views on your Proud Boys video in three months or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I, I wish we got more. Like, if we got more, like, maybe you guys would be worth talking about or talking to. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. If you guys started watching, like, yeah. I'd lean in. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is, all right, this is the hill. We found yeah. our hill finally. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is either the left or right fucking scoop us up and we'll go all in on that. All right. Just. Give yeah. us money. And- I already got the goddamn geranium wig. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't do that help all me day. Direct, help me direct my anger. I have it. I, we clearly have it, but we just need to know where to go with it. Yeah. I'm a white dude. I hate myself, and that's not necessarily I the mean, reason, but I can make it the reason. Matt's, <laughs> Matt's practically gay as it is. We might as well just lean in on the left. He can come out. We'll do a whole fucking thing about it. You know, like, just get us in. What do I, I, do? I hate it. I'll delete all my Twitter posts that are suspect. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So Davey's going to delete his Twitter. Basically. <laughs> I know my last one said, if you hate Lil Nas X, you're gay. <laughs> that was my last tweet. <laughs> That's great. Well, on the nose, but you know. <laughs> That's so, it's, yeah, that's just, like, a, like a 13 year old middle school way yeah. like, you know like that you're gay that's the whole point and he actually is, so it's like <laughs> you're making both sides upset at this point that's the whole yeah. point so if you want to make both sides upset hit that subscribe button down there and tell them to go fuck themselves because i have no horse in this race <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly i, I just right. want to be famous because i'm a dirty whore <laughs> <laughs> i wish i had a horse <laughs> feed him peanuts. It's so many glue sticks. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Good. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.